Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here and welcome to today's video. It is a collab with my good friend Emily D and I'm going to use this palette right here. It's the Nomad, the Whistler's Snow Lodge. So, look at these shades y'all. Beautiful! And you can tell I've been swatching the greens, especially that shimmery one right there love 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 this color story and i can't wait to get into it today so let's do this so i'm gonna right off the bat i'm gonna grab a fluffy brush and i'm gonna go in with this beautiful green right here i've done my brows and i've done some eyeshadow primer and so this is like a seafoam kind of a green but i still want this to be kind of christmasy looking but I'm going to use this in the crease because it's a really pretty matte. And I'm going for a good daytime look today. And I know some of my looks are kind of dramatic and you never think that you could wear them like out and about. But I do. I wear them out and about. <laughs> you know, I really do. I mean, my looks are tame compared to a lot of people that you see, especially on Instagram. Oh my gosh. So, anyway... Do follow your heart. Do what you are happy with. And so, boom, just like that, we've got, we've got that on the lid. So let me tap this eyeshadow primer out here in the crease. And we're going to use this eyeshadow to set it with. And I'm just tapping it on. And we're going, I've got hooded eyes, so I'm going, you know, up above my natural crease, of course, and up, on up towards the brow bone with this shade. And we're just going to just keep tapping it out, and it smooths out, and it gets lighter as you go up. And I'm going to stop short, just short of right there in that arch of my brow. And then I'm just going to even all this out. Isn't that pretty, y'all? That is the prettiest shade. Oh, my gosh. My mother used to have a blouse this color. And when she wore it, I just thought it looked so pretty on her. That color was just so pretty on her skin tone. And every time I see this color, it reminds me of my mother. Okay, maybe just a little bit more. Just a give it a little more intensity right there okay so I'm gonna set this brush aside and I'm gonna go in now with uh, a smaller brush this is one from Alamar cosmetics and I want to go in with this beautiful dark green right there and I think I'm just gonna wind up using four shades today anyway I'm gonna use this in the outer part This is so pretty. I love, I just love greens. So anyway, I'm going to carry this over into the deepest part of the crease here. And just kind of buff it out. Wow. This is so pigmented. So that definitely screams Christmas, doesn't it? And all I did was like tap, tap with this brush. And I'm using, I'm just using the lightest hand here. So 
So anyway, Emily and I have been friends for a while now. She's really taken off on her channel. I think she's got quite a few subscribers now. Um, probably over 600, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, I want y'all to go over to her channel and support her. And, you know, sh show her some love. Watch some of her videos. She's got a real calm personality. She's um, steady, you know, just real steady. And... And I just love her to pieces. Anyway, she was a supporter of mine for the longest. And then she started doing shorts. And she would do like flat lays and stuff before she did that even. And then she just, she's evolved is what's happened with her. And her content and everything. So. Okay, so there is the dark green. My cheeks are flushed today. All right, now I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to go into this beautiful green right here, which is called Whistler. And that's the name of the palette, is Whistler. And I'm just going to put the, pop this on the lid. Look at that. Instant shine. Oh my gosh, I knew it was going to be fabulous. Look at that, y'all. This is such a pretty metallic. And it's got some gold in it as well. I oh, mean, this these formulas for Nomad are amazing. This is my first time using this palette, other than just the few swatches when I was trying to figure out, you know, what I was going to do. So anyway, we decided to do, you know, since it's Christmas season, we're going to do a Christmas look. And we're going to use any palette that we like. And so, she doesn't know what palette I'm using, and I don't know what palette she's using. So that's going to be, you know, the surprise to each one of us. Alright, so maybe just a little more. I kind of want this to like transfer up into the crease area just right here in the front because it's going to anyway and so I might as well be intentional about it holy moly that's just so pretty okay let me grab a smaller brush here and uh, let me use this one I'm going to use this one right here, and this is from Complex Culture, and I want to, let's see, hang on a second before I get to that, let me use, let me go off camera, I'm going to put rest of my makeup on and put some mascara and everything, we'll come back, we'll finish under the eyes and the inner corner and the highlight after I've, you know, put my foundation and everything on, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I put on a couple of serums. I used this snow mu mushroom one here from Volition Beauty. Um, I used the one from LYS. I love this serum, y'all. It works really good with the foundation. So I applied that next. And then, of course, the foundation from LYS. I used that in the shade LN3, which is a neutral shade. It works great for me. And then I use the Huda Beauty Marshmallow Concealer. And then I set everything down with this translucent powder from OPV Beauty. I got this from BoxyCharm and I tried it out for the first time today. So anyway, this is a beautiful powder. I really enjoyed using that. And then I went in with my LYS Bronzer. And this is in the shade No Limits, Motivate Light which is a really good shade for me. I'm flush today for some reason. I don't know why. And then the blush that I used today was from Amuse Cosmetics, which I got this off the Shop Miss A website, and it has a little mirror on the back. It's really uh, cool and innovative the way that this opens up, too. But anyway, I like this color, y'all. And even though it only cost me like a dollar, I'm kind of stuck on it. I've been using it and using it and reaching for it. So I really like the color. Okay, so now we're at a place 
where we can finish the eyes. I want to go in with this like off-white shade up here in the top and I want to use that for inner core highlight and I'm using a elf flat brush here and I just want to pop this right here in the inner corner that is so pretty and I'm just going to swing it around the tear duct here and I'm just going to just get that whole little spot okay now the other eye and I'm trying not to get any of the green on the brush these shades are so pigmented I'm afraid they're going to transfer because I want to use this same brush to go up above the and the same shade to go up above the um, you know right below the brow the arch of the brow so this is a really pretty it's almost like a light yellow anyway it's a shimmer and it's it's really pretty okay now we're just gonna just tap in and we're gonna put just a little little shimmy shimmy right here that's beautiful I really like that okay now this eye these little elf brushes are good y'all Sometimes you can find them like at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I like that really good. Now I'm going to use that little brush that I was reaching for before I went off camera from Complex Culture. And I want to go in with this um, light shade called a Priest Ski. It's the one that I put in my transition. And. I'm going to put this underneath the lash line. I could use that darker shade, but I really think this one's going to be dark enough. We'll see. If not, I can always add. Anyway, I want to be kind of liberal with this. And I'm not really hugging the lash line too close. I'm going, you know, a little bit below it. I'm really trying to open up the eyes today. Then I'm going to connect all this in the corner over here. The outer corner. I'm giving that wide-eyed, doe-like effect. Alright, and now this other eye, the same thing. And I've got, y'all stay tuned because i got a pair of magnetic lashes that I want to apply today. This is from Ace Butte. And y'all have been asking me for some eyelash tutorials, and so I promised that I would, you know, add some into my videos and my get ready with me's and stuff. And so I wanted to try these magnetic lashes for you guys so you could see how easy they really are. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with this, so I'm gonna stay right there. I used four shadows today. I used all three of these greens and then this beautiful it's almost like a off-white kind of color got a little bit of yellow in it really beautiful so anyway I'm excited about this palette can't wait to use it some more it's really um, you could use it as a Christmas palette because of these reds that are in here as well and then of course it'll carry you through the winter because all these pretty blues anyway I can't wait to use this some more Okay, let me set that aside, and let me throw on a little mascara here. I'm going to use this one from CoverGirl, the Exhibitionist. I'm going to do that real quick, and then I'm going to come back, and we're going to do the magnetic lashes and lips together. Okay, y'all, I'm back, and I've got this 
magnetic lash kit that I got from Ace Butte. It's from the Palatopoly collection. And I don't really wear these very often, but I want to today because it's a magnetic lash option. And this is a traditional set of magnetic lashes where you put the liner on and then there's little magnets on the lashes and they're gonna stick to that eyeliner. So I wanna demonstrate this for you guys just to show you how easy it is. This little liner is really small, but you can you know, buy uh, refills on the Ace Butte website. And I think they are having a sale right now. So anyway, I always start with this eye first when it comes to lashes. So let me just go in with this eyeliner first. And it takes a couple of coats. And you don't want to be too thin with it. Because you really want those magnets to stick. So, but the good thing is these eyeshadows even though there's some you know the shimmers are shimmery it doesn't get in the way of the eyeliner going on so anyway you just take it from corner to corner if you want to do a wing you can my suggestion is is to not use your magnetic liner for your wing because that's just going to use your magnetic liner up and you want to save it for the lashes. So about where your normal lashes start growing is, you know, where you would normally put mascara on is where you'd want to start. And then where they stop growing on this outside corner is where you want to stop. And then I like to go over this outside corner really good because that's where I have a tendency to skip places. Okay, and then let it dry. And so while we let it dry, I'm gonna go ahead and put the liner on this eye. And then we'll go in with the magnetic lash. I've got couple of sets of lashes here to choose from and for this look it's even though it's a daytime look it is pretty dramatic it could probably hold up with the larger lashes but for the sake of being conservative <laughs> you know a conservative daytime look try to be conservative I want to use the smaller lashes I think okay and I'll just do one more coat and make sure that it's not too thin you want to give you know plenty of space for the the lashes to stick okay all right I'm not trying to do a wing because I just want enough of the eyeliner on for the lashes to stick Okay, now this smaller set here is the set I want to use. And they're pretty easy. And it doesn't really matter which way you put them on because they're the way that they're made is that they're short on both ends and the longer hairs are in the middle. So that's going to give a, a nice rounded look to the eye. So let's just pop these on. And you can adjust them if you need to. But 
you don't have to worry about the ends lifting up because they're magnetic. So in order to get those to, you know, clamp down in the corner as close to the lash line as possible, you can use one of these little tools if you need to. And then I always like to go up underneath the lash and just kind of push up just to get the false eyelash to kind of stand up on the eyes. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Alright, so let's do the other one just so you guys can see it again. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And if they don't fit your eyes, you can always trim them down. They're just like a regular eyelash as far as that's concerned. And boom, that one went on. Pretty easy. Let me get this inner corner to stick to the, to the eyeliner. I think I have glue on my tool. There we go. There we go. There we go. Very pretty. I'm so pretty. I look so pretty. <laughs> All right. I always feel prettier with eyelashes on, y'all. Okay. I need to do some highlighter and I need to do some lipstick, but I got to get my products together for that because I don't know what I'm using yet. So I will be right back. Okay, y'all, for highlighter today, I'm going into my Physician's Formula All-Star Palette, and I want to use this shade right here in the middle. This one right here. Really pretty shade. And we're just going to strobe that onto the high points of the cheek, and I'm going to go around the outside of the eye here. And then a little on the nose. This highlighter is so pretty. And then the Cupid's bow. Okay, a little more on this side. Mm, look at that. I love this highlighter. Okay, let me set this aside. And then we're going to do a lip look together. I've kind of been going for the whole lip balm kind of vibe here lately with maybe a little gloss on top of it. But today I'm going to add this um, lip liner from Illamasqua in the shade. It's called Lust. And I want to line my lips first today. Give this the whole holiday red lip vibe. Do a little ombre filling in in the corners. And I wanted a Cupid's bow to be well defined. Just like that. Okay. 
And now we're going to go in. I've got this lip balm here that was given to me. It's kind of a reddish type of a, a orangish red, but it's got like a real pretty sheer sheen to it. And it smells like peppermint. It's awesome. It's from Yoma. Yoma. I need to link this down below for y'all. See if we can find it so we can repurchase it. It's the perfect lip balm for this time of year. Especially if you love peppermint. I love peppermint. Okay, so it's extremely buildable. Especially when you have a, you know, really pretty lip liner to go with it. Okay, now I'm going to top it off with this lip gloss from Hank and Henry. This is in the shade Luna. Just right here in the center. Just to give us that little pop of shine. And then I'm going to to keep this from staining my lip gloss, I'm going to take a, a wipe and I'm going to wipe this brush off and get that that red off. Because I don't want that to contaminate. I could have used a lip brush, but anyway, that way's just as good. Really pretty. Really pretty lip gloss. It's almost got like a pink vibe just when you put it, the whole thing together. All right, y'all, that is my look for today. Merry Christmas, everybody. I got my Christmas nails on. I love this green. Oh my gosh. I want to do this again. Thank you, Emily, for another great collab. I love you, girl. You're awesome. It's good to see your channel growing, and I appreciate you with all of my heart. Merry Christmas, everybody. God bless you all today. It's my prayer, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.